the view of the starry firmament at night is simply overwhelming. Anyone observing the thousands and thousands of twinkling objects over the coming months could be forgiven for thinking that the cosmos has been enriched by one more star. However, this is not the case, as NASA has announced it will be the result of a brute natural spectacle that will once again show us the elemental forces of the universe. But what is it all about? Why will T. Coroni Borealis shine a thousand times brighter than before? Will the celestial body plunge its surroundings into disaster in a devastating explosion, or is the breathtaking magic of space not always linked to chaos and destruction? After all, modern observatories in remote locations, highly complex telescopes, and an expert team of renowned astronomers are all things we don't need to marvel at the overwhelming transformation that T. Coroni Borealis will soon undergo. In the constellation Northern Crown, Around 2,700 light years away from Earth, TCB will undergo a dazzlingly bright change that we can witness with the naked eye. Anyone with standard binoculars will be able to admire the star for just over a week before it disappears into the darkness of space again for the next 80 years. Strictly speaking, the term, the star, is not correct. We are actually looking at a stellar compound, a so-called symbiotic star, which is made up of an extended red giant and a compact white dwarf. Experts define red giants as aging stars of the size of a solar mass in the core of which hydrogen burning has ceased due to a lack of replenishment. White dwarfs, in turn, embody the hot cores of red giants that remain when the outer shell is ejected in the final stage of the star's development. The double star dance in the case of TCB is anything but restrained, as the distance between the two celestial bodies is estimated to be half an astronomical unit, or around 75 million kilometers. It takes 228 days for the objects to orbit each other, and as a result of the spatial constellation, the matter of the red giant flows over to the white dwarf, leading to an awe-inspiring phenomenon in the night sky. When the red giant feeds the accretion disk of the white dwarf to such an extent that a critical mass is reached, fusion processes begin, resulting in explosive bursts of brightness known as a nova. TCB undergoes recurrent novae, meaning the radiant spectacle repeats itself over time. This thermonuclear self-ignition in the course of material transfer collects a disk of hydrogen and some helium on the significantly smaller white dwarf. The point comes when the material ignites, resulting in a thermonuclear burning where hydrogen undergoes a fusion reaction. Historical records of nova eruptions go back to the year 127, and experts have determined that the eruptions of this binary star have an average period of 80.7 years. The last nova was in February 1946, and the next eruption is expected by September 2024. Outside these events, TCB has an apparent brightness of 10.8 mag, too faint to be visible to the naked eye, but during the last novae in 1866 and 1946, it reached magnitudes of 2.0, shining over 1,000 times brighter than before, even outshining Gemma, the brightest star in the Northern Crown constellation. This next nova is a unique observation opportunity that no star enthusiast should miss. To recognize this star in the sky, one must locate the constellation of the Northern Crown, which appears as a small semicircle of stars between the constellations Hercules and Ursa Major. Using a slightly brighter sky might be helpful for identifying this object of desire. Rotating star charts or star chart apps are practical tools for tracking the current rising and setting times of the Northern Crown. As we delve into the vast expanses of space, our perception of the sun as the cosmic ultimate blurs, with stars like Betelgeuse making our mighty host star seem like an insignificant pinhead. The diameter of Betelgeuse is 800 times that of the sun, which is around 1.12 billion kilometers. In theory, our parent star would fit 500,000 times into the so-called shoulder star of Orion. The differences in luminosity are no less drastic, Betelgeuse shines 10,000 times brighter than the sun. As a result, it is easily possible to spot this celestial body, which is around 720 light years away from Earth, with the naked eye if you are in the northern hemisphere during the winter months. If you look up at the starry sky, it's practically impossible to miss the red supergiant. Betelgeuse was already mentioned in records dating back 2,000 years as a yellow-orange glowing dot in the firmament. Like all other objects in the universe, Betelgeuse is not a rigid, unchanging celestial body. The determination of its radius using interferometry revealed that it fluctuates by around 15%. Interestingly, 
Betelgeuse's radius was the first to be determined using this measurement method. However, the stellar giant is also subject to recurring fluctuations in luminosity, for example, a visible change in brightness occurs every 270 days. This recurring interplay is due to the late stage of development that the star has now reached. In a nutshell, red supergiants have the characteristic of expanding and contracting again, and this pulsation is linked to fluctuations in brightness. Just how drastic and puzzling these changes can sometimes be, scientists were able to witness firsthand a few years ago. In October 2019, experts documented a strange process that led to a dramatic reduction in brightness by February 2020, which was no longer even 40% of its average initial value. Betelgeuse had never been so dim since astronomical studies began. Some experts saw this loss of luminosity as nothing more than the result of several overlapping brightness cycles, while other researchers feared it could be a sign that Betelgeuse was on the verge of a supernova. The explosive death of a star is heralded by the celestial body expanding greatly and undergoing a significant decrease in brightness. However, since no star has yet been observed immediately before a supernova, we do not know whether the corresponding dimming occurs several years or just a few hours before the explosive event. One day, Betelgeuse will indeed make an explosive exit, but according to current research, this is likely to be a good 1.5 million years away. Other experts have a much tighter time frame, assuming the Colossus will disappear from star charts within 100,000 years. After Betelgeuse returned to its former glory in April 2020, researchers deciphered the reasons behind the drastic drop in brightness. Observations by the Hubble Space Telescope revealed that the star had ejected a gigantic cloud of hot, dense material that then cooled down, condensed into dust, and shielded the emitted starlight. Due to this cosmic dust veil, it only appeared from Earth as if the celestial body had dramatically lost its luminosity. Once an official explanation for the past development was found, the star soon presented another mystery. Since 2023, it has been shining much brighter than usual. Regardless of whether Betelgeuse will explode relatively soon or not, as soon as the red supergiant transforms into a supernova, we will be impressively reminded of the elemental forces of the universe. Betelgeuse already shines 10,000 times brighter than the sun, but in the course of its explosive stellar death, researchers expect a further 16,000-fold increase in luminosity. Some experts believe that the brightness of the star will be comparable to the crescent moon, while others think it will match the luminosity of the full moon. Either way, this event would be unmissable from a terrestrial point of view. What is also unmissable from your earthly point of view is the subscription button. Become part of our community now and never miss an exciting video again.